So I saw this tweet the other day that said Rich and Miri is out streaming the likes of Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, Lucky and more and that he's no longer underground and a lot of the comment section were basically saying oh well he's just blown up off this one song he's not mainstream or other people are like that's crazy he's got to be bought in bloody blah, blah blah and so there's obviously this whole discussion right now of, is kind of Rich and Miri has he breached into the mainstream is he now considered a mainstream artist when it comes to like rappers and hip-hop artists there's always this discussion because it's such a numbers game now where whether it's Spotify monthly listeners or first week sales and we're always trying to box artists into mainstream or underground but I'm gonna be honest I think an artist career is always broken down into three steps I don't think it's just as simple as you're either uh, underground or mainstream I think there's actually three main pivotable points that each rapper will go through and I think Richard Mary is definitely at that one like in between stages two and three which we're gonna go through in a bit but he's definitely now breaking into the mainstream with this first of all this whole rich ramiri situation i mean i was a fan of his last album if you haven't checked it out go check it out it's got some slappers on there some good tunes on there obviously this this one song has boosted his monthly listeners like crazy on spotify like it, it should go without saying that he's obviously inflated right now i don't think he's bought in you we're also forgetting how ice spice went from like crazy numbers after months dropped but he, he he's obviously inflated right now this is kind of the, the bad thing about when all these pages give these artists attention and by just saying oh they're mainstream now they're, they're, they're this they're that is because it sets it sets up the narrative for once this inevitable fall off in numbers happens that they're instantly falling off oh it it was just it, just a one hit wonder when it's really it's just going viral like that's just part of the game like something goes viral numbers shoot up that's just how it's gonna be let's look at the steps of like rappers trajectory and career stuff so i would definitely say this the first step is stage one being underground to an unknown artist now if we're talking talking spotify numbers anything between zero and like early hundreds of thousands i think could be considered underground like from zero to like 300,000 to 400,000 can technically be considered underground you know it has to be niche they have to be a niche artist they probably won't really be the main act on a tour they probably open up for someone if they do play it in front of a crowd that is how I would describe underground sometimes mainstream outlets will use the term up and coming instead of underground because I guess I don't know it's just weird but underground and up and coming are generally interchangeable when it comes to this kind of talk when we're talking about watching an artist go from underground all the way to mainstream as well i think there's only one rapper that we in the last few years we can really use as, as an example and that's yeet i will come back to him in a bit but i feel like just putting it out there yeet is probably one of the clearest examples of an artist that has gone from underground to mainstream within the last three three years and I also think he proves how not easy and common it is. Like you'll get a ye every few years that will actually do the full, full journey, but not every rapper is really capable of doing it. And that's fine, you know. Like people shame like artists for numbers and stuff, but remember, like music's a tough industry. So, yeah. Stage two is what I like to describe as becoming an established artist. I think a lot of artists actually end up falling into this camp and not becoming mainstream and people just kind of get confused because they don't really see that there's more than one more than one level to artistry and popularity. I think the difference with these artists is if we were looking at Spotify monthly listen Spotify monthly listeners, they're gonna be at like the 500k to even in the couple of millions range. Like there's gonna be established artists that like have 500k one mil two mil three mil we're looking at numbers wise that is a clear identifier and if they have like millions or hundreds of thousands of streams on all their songs it's like okay this is a size of audience now just because given a day in the age where things can blow the fuck up like they can get big big numbers so when people see like you only have like hundreds of thousands of streams or couple mil of streams on some i think now we're getting numb to the idea that's still quite a lot have you ever been in a place where have you ever been in a room with tens of thousands of people or thousands of people go to an artist concert that is considered established and when they fill up a room 
and you'll realize oh yeah these millions of streams are actually a lot because that's a lot of listens that's a lot of people uh, just 10 years ago we used to have the double excel freshman list which i think was the clear identifier of these established artists that were going to break in the, to the mainstream. Like you look at the double XL list from years ago and you have names that are like these big names now. Kendrick, J. Cole, Travis Scott. These were all double XL freshmen. But as years have gone on and like hip hop has expanded and it, it's like such a broad genre. Look at the 2023 freshman list. Everyone's reaction was almost the same. Everyone was like, I don't know anyone or I know like three people. And guaranteed that every person that reacted to that list that knew someone, they everyone knew someone different from that list. That's because everyone's just tapped into like different sections of hip hop now. It's not this one big community anymore that I guess Double XL can look at and go, okay, these are the definitive voices because there's just so many voices. Back when we had the Double XL list and it was more of a collective class, you would see these established artists. A lot of them would break into the mainstream or a lot of them would become, you know, like, established i think a good example of that is the artist amine who was in the 2018 one some of you watching this may obviously know who amine is some of you might not but if i play two seconds of this song or this song maybe you would go oh okay i know who that is and if you're still watching it and you have no idea who is then that's fair enough he's not exactly a mainstream artist he does respectable numbers and has eight million monthly listeners but i wouldn't exactly class him as mainstream bearing in mind this guy was in the same double xl freshman class as x and carty and finally the third stage is becoming mainstream and what i would class a mainstream at is definitely someone that has into the o's of millions of monthly listeners probably tens to millions and is maybe considered a household name or sells is consistently hitting billboard and their first week numbers are like basically noteworthy now we spoke about richard miri at the start of the video and how his song is hit billboard he's going crazy right now does this mean does this mean he's mainstream no he's got his foot in the door i think to be a mainstream artist you need to consistently hit billboard at least one like at least twice or three times with like hits or album sales now we're gonna look at yeet okay yeet's record sales kind of just show this so if you've been following yeet from like the underground days like t the 2020 21 days where like he was going crazy with get busy sorry about that all those songs you know like he was going crazy on those mixtapes and it wasn't until the year 2022 when he was re ready to drop that that album to alive he debuted at number six and sold 35,000 first week now in this day and age that's actually a very respectable number especially like he was just coming out of the underground but 35,000 debuting at number six it's not a number one album or nothing like of course you're gonna have loads of hype it's your first major like release bloody blah, blah blah did it make him mainstream it put him in the mainstream but what landed him that mainstream spot in my opinion was the definite up in all his albums so we're gonna look at afterlife sales first week he sold fifty five thousand. so that's like 20k increase right we go to 2093 and he sold 70k first week now he just lost out to the number one uh spot uh to kanye with vultures but i mean it's kanye like i don't think he could have had tougher competition even if he tried it no one else in hip-hop right now that is probably outselling kanye apart from maybe drake that was a number two album so he's yet to have a number one album but each each album he has has been landing in at least the top 10 of billboard now another thing cosigns like he has now been working with industry vets like ogs like people that are definite mainstream artists he's got a young thug feature he's got an uzi feature he got a Lil Wayne feature. He got a song with. He got a song with Damn Drake. Like you don't get more mainstream with that. So I think like a combination of all those things is really what takes you to that final level of damn. He made it. He's in the mainstream. Like he's here to stay. His album sales are going up. He's consistently charting. Not to mention he's got 22 million monthly listeners. That is a big jump from Mine, who's at 8 million. Don't get me wrong. 8 million is nothing to laugh at but that's a lot more people 
tuned in every month and just the streams as well are just way different so in conclusion then what are we saying about richard miri do you would you consider him mainstream yet would you consider him mainstream for me i would say this it's not about if he's mainstream right now of this one song it's about what he does next it's about what he does next and what he does throughout the year if he's got another album on the way or he's got more hits on the way and he's consistently dropping bangers this year and he keeps on charting then he's gonna become mainstream like getting your foot in the door through a viral tiktok song or just getting a random song blow up isn't shameful i mean it's just just how the game works these days so we need to see if he has the potential to become mainstream that one cool song it was catchy you know i think his last album he definitely had more like a future trappy atlanta sound vibe going with him so he's definitely got mainstream appeal and he's got songs of tekka as well like he's had some good collabs but it's what he does after this that will prove if he's mainstream and if he doesn't land on billboard or doesn't like consistently do the things to actually make him mainstream he'll definitely stay at that established level which is fine it will just be another case to show that hey becoming a mainstream artist is not easy it's not easy but that's about gonna wrap it up guys what do you think about this whole thing about like the stages of rappers careers and where they are in the industry let me know if you think rich amir is gonna blow up even more this year is he botting is he is he legit? I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, peace out.